Marshall Falk is perhaps the most dynamic running back in the history of the NFL. His combination of agility and pass catching is perhaps the best of any running back in NFL history. This video will showcase the Madden 2003 cover athlete throughout his time in Madden, starting now. Marshall Falk was drafted round one, pick two by the Indianapolis Colts in the 1994 NFL Draft from San Diego State. In Marshall Falk's rookie year of 1994, he would rush for 1,282 yards off 314 attempts, averaging 4.1 yards a carry and scoring 11 touchdowns. He would also catch 52 passes out of the backfield for 522 yards and one touchdown. These efforts would lead him to win the 1994 Offensive Rookie of the Year. Marshall Falk would spend his first five seasons with the Indianapolis Colts. And during his time with the Colts, he would be named to the All-Pro team twice. In 1999, Marshall Falk would be traded to the St. Louis Rams. In Marshall Falk's first season with the St. Louis Rams in 1999, he would rush for 1,381 yards off 253 attempts, averaging 5.5 yards a carry and scoring 7 touchdowns. He would also have 87 catches out of the backfield for 1,048 yards and 5 touchdowns. This season would lead him to get both Pro Bowl and All-Pro honors for the 1999 season. Marshall Falk's 2,429 yards from scrimmage would break the NFL record from yards for scrimmage in 1999. And Marshall Falk's St. Louis Rams would go 13-3, eventually winning Super Bowl 34 against the Tennessee Titans. For the 2000 NFL season, Marshall Falk would rush for 1,359 yards off 253 attempts, averaging 5.4 yards a carry and rushing for 18 touchdowns. Marshall Falk would lead the NFL in yards per attempt and rushing touchdowns. Marshall Falk would also have 81 catches out of the backfield for 830 yards and 8 receiving touchdowns. Marshall Falk would once again have Pro Bowl and All-Pro honors for the 2000 NFL season. Marshall Falk would also be selected as the NFL's most valuable player for the 2000 NFL season. In 2001, Marshall Falk rushed for 1,382 yards off 260 attempts. He averaged 5.3 yards per carry, and he rushed for 12 touchdowns. He led the league once again in yards per carry. He also had 83 receptions out of the backfield for 765 yards and caught nine touchdown passes. Marshall Falk would once again receive Pro Bowl and All-Pro honors for the 2001 NFL season. Marshall Falk's St. Louis Rams would get all the way to Super Bowl 36, but this time they would fall short to the New England Patriots. After being selected to the All-Pro team for three consecutive seasons, Marshall Falk would be selected to be the cover athlete of Madden NFL 2003. Here's Marshall Falk's render. Marshall Falk comes into Madden 2003 with a 99 overall, 94 speed, 63 strength, 98 awareness, 95 agility, 99 acceleration, 86 catch, 95 carry, and an 89 break tackle. Marshall Falk is the best running back in Madden 2003 with that 99 overall. He is six overall points higher than the next highest rated running back in Madden 2003. He has the second highest speed rating. He has the second highest awareness rating. He has the highest agility rating. Has the highest acceleration rating. Has the highest catch rating. And he has the second highest carry rating. The Madden curse would strike Marshall Falk for the 2002 NFL season. As for the first time since 1996, Marshall Falk would fail to reach 1,000 yards rushing. He would only rush for 953 yards off 212 attempts. And his St. Louis Rams would fail to make the playoffs, only posting a 7-9 record a year after making it to the Super Bowl. Marshall Falk's play would continue to decline as he would begin to age. In 2003, Marshall Falk would only rush for 818 yards, averaging 
1.9 yards per attempt. In 2004, he would only rush for 774 yards, averaging 4 yards per attempt. And in his final season in the NFL in 2005, he would only rush for 292 yards. As you can see, Marshall Falk is still an effective back, even as he gets into the latter stages of his career. He's still quick enough and fast enough to break a long touchdown run, and his good hands really lets him be a weapon out of the backfield. Although Marshall Falk's final season in the NFL was 2005, he still appears in Madden 2007, as you can see here. Well, that's the vid from your boy T-Mac, man. I need y'all to like the video. I need y'all to comment on the video. I need y'all to subscribe to the channel because the next video is going to be the cover athlete of Madden 2004. Yes, the glitch himself, Michael Vick. We will take an in-depth dive into Mike Vick's career in Madden in the next video. So subscribe to the channel so y'all won't miss that video. Anyway, the boys out. Peace.